So it's about 5 p.m. on a Wednesday in this hot Australian summer, and I thought, you know what would be a fun idea? To just go and play some vanilla. This is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh my god, okay, it's happening. It's been a big year, everyone's kind of tired. It'd be so cool to just experience some nostalgia, to go back and experience what this game once was in its prime. It's over, Anakin. I have the high... <laughs> Hello. Bro, I haven't played vanilla Battlefront 2 in quite a while. I'm playing on PS5. I've recently installed a bunch of mods to the game on PC, been messing around with them, which has been lots of fun. But is anyone still playing the vanilla version? That's what we're gonna find out today, and I'm really hoping they are. And if they're not, come and join me, please. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> First off, we're gonna play the flagship game mode of this game, which is Supremacy. The game mode they added later on, the most requested game mode, the one that's most inspired by the original Battlefront 2, which is still, I think, the best Battlefront game ever made in its own kitsch, fun, crazy, nonsense, grenade spam kind of way. So far not looking good. It's been 30 seconds and we're still searching for a game. Supremacy is the mode I think we're not really going to find anyone in. I want to go through almost every game mode and see if it's possible at this random time I've selected to play each game mode and to see if anyone's involved. I made a similar video like this I think in 2022 and even back then it took me roughly 30 minutes to get into an actual game and even then I think it was just a co-op match. Okay, there's no one playing Supremacy, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we're going to Takadana. Here's the other thing. It's kind of frustrating that every time you actually get a match, it's on one of the sequel planets. Say what you want about the sequels, but we all know, I think, and we can all agree that the prequel maps are just way more fun. Yeah, 19 players needed. I'm the only person still here. So I'm, I'm pretty much straight away just going to give up on Supremacy. Get about Supremacy. Let's go to the next game mode. And with that, I believe we should try Galactic Assault. This was the game mode that launched that was inspired by 2015's uh, Walker Assault. The one with the walkers, you have to take them down. Still, I think, probably the most fun and most tense game mode EA DICE have created. I, that was my favorite. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting a match. This is really promising. It loaded a lot quicker than it has it at any other time. I also haven't looked at any of my classes. I have no idea who I'm going to be playing as, what the deal with anyone is. Hopefully, whoever we have selected is actually, you know, capable and we, we've got a good gun on and good attachments and good everything. Oh, there's a full game. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so surprised. Galactic Assault. People are playing Galactic Assault over Supremacy, which is really interesting. Seeing as though Supremacy was the one everyone wanted. Man, there's still people playing this. This is great. Battlefront 2 still exists. I don't, actually don't know what server I'm on. I think, I'm, I think I should be on the Australian servers. Dude, we're on Hoth. I love Hoth. It's gorgeous. I still much prefer 2015's Battlefront Hoth map over this one. I think it's just more accurate, more kind of true to the film. That said, our little nine nub character here is gonna is gonna absolutely devastate them. Yeah. So and here's the thing with like this this version is basically Walker Assault, but it, it's always seems quite fruitless because it's so hard to take down the Walkers in this in this mode. Oh, I'm getting sniped. Here's the thing. I'm I'm like a total noob because I haven't played this in a while. So we got one kill. We're doing great so far. I'm pretty proud of how we're doing. Look, he's just lighting them up. Squad spawned on me. Oh, he's destroying their turrets as well. Oh, I'm still alive. It's cool. And let's... Oh, uh, yeah, we're overwhelmed. Okay, logical Buddha. Let's see if we can, like, accrue enough points to unlock a hero. Also, I'm going to change my blaster. Let's let's try the burst fire one. I reckon that's fine. There's only five weapons. I'm so used to playing the modded version that has, like, lots more. Like, 20 options or something like that. You guys remember first person in this game as well? Are the walkers weaker in certain positions? Who's it? Oh my god, why? Why are there so many enemies here? What's the deal? No! If we can actually take down the walkers... Oh, you know what? In this game mode, I'm not sure I've ever actually seen one of the walkers go down. Hey. Owned. I'm really curious as well, after doing this, if there's going to be people playing the other Battlefront games as well, like the old, old Battlefront games. Look, man. Ugh. Oh, Tauntaun! Uh, the Tauntaun's OP. Comes with a pistol. Up on the hill. Oh, owned. <laughs> Imagine being run over, trampled by a Tauntaun. I really want to take down one of these walkers. This thing is so awkward to maneuver. Tauntaun, what's wrong with you? Let's go. Got him. All right, we're actually doing okay on the Tauntaun. Oh, he's trying to hook it. The dude's trying to, he's trying to spin around it. It's not working. And there's an ATST there and I can't jump over there. I'm stuck in a ditch. It's telling me to fall back. The walker's shooting at me. I'm stuck in a ditch. It's not looking good. Tauntaun, you're supposed to run. Please save us all.
Dude, Torn Torn is OP. Run! I'm really surprised of how well this Torn Torn's going. But we still haven't taken down one of the walkers. We're gonna get one of these walkers down, man. Dude, accuracy. Come on, Torn Torn. Get him. Ah! Oh. Sting is. <laughs> It's pretty, like the health I think is just good. You kind of you kind of have more more health just because you're on the torn torn. But seriously, moving around on this thing is really awkward. Why are they attacking that one? That one. There's no way we're gonna be able to defend that one. Oh, there you go. This one. Yes. It's like nearly dead. Take it down, dude. It has like no health. Oh, I've never seen one of these go down in, the, in Battlefront 2. You'd think they wouldn't shoot me because I'm on an innocent torn torn. The torn torn never hurt anyone. That's not true. Nope. Please go away. Thank you. Oh, we did it! Oh, look at it go. That's epic. Dude, graphically impressive. If I'm being honest with you guys, I didn't expect to be playing Battlefront 2 this afternoon. I really thought it was going to be another case of me waiting in lobbies and then having to go play something else because there's no Battlefront 2 matches available. And look, we're literally getting so close to defeating this thing. We might actually do this, man. This team, look, the team is actually playing as a squad. Everyone's targeting the walkers. Look, it's opened up again. Everyone is targeting the walkers. If we destroy this, I'm pretty sure we win. But it's also so close to- Oh, uh, Destination Re- Are you serious? You're kidding, right? We were so close. That's really disappointing. That's really disappointing. All right, we got the double kill there. We're running back up the stairs. Let's go. We're gonna go inside. Oh my god. Also, yes, I haven't seen a hero yet, which I've kind of enjoyed. Haven't just been devastated by an OP force user. Yep, but they're breaking in. Why is a sand trooper here? You got the wrong skin, mate. Take it off. Strip right in front of me, please. Oh, yep. And that's that's a Sith Lord. That's the galaxy's greatest Sith Lord. And he's looking right at he's looking right at me. He's loaded up uh, Vader. Everyone, the, the greatest experience of this game is, is getting to face off against a hero and feel like you're absolutely about to be sliced in half by the galaxy's most feared Sith Lord. It's it's quite a thrill. The appeal of Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's crazy to think that the state this game was in when it first released to where it's at now, it really is crazy to think. Princess Leia's dead. Well, she's wearing the wrong era skin though. That's a, her New Hope skin, so I don't blame her. Go back and get changed. I want the Battlefront 2 purest experience, which is kind of why the mods are fun, because it, 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 I guess it gives you a more pure experience of the game in some ways. In some ways it also ruins it, like with the Kermit the Frog mod. Oh, actually, uh, I am the Senate. Look, oh, this, this doorway. This do oh, I, I pressed the wrong button, and now I'm gonna get killed. There's another grenade. How did I not get that kill? That's... Oh. Gonk! Gonk! I can't play the objective anymore. I found a gonk droid. Oh my gosh, and he's just walking around. Hello! I can't hear any gonks. Where's the gonk Alonka? All right, we're, we're literally gonna lose the match if I don't go outside. I'm sorry, gonky, I must leave you. Can we Can we please win this, please? Like, we got so, so, so close to defeating the... I think we won. I think we won! First time playing Battlefront 2 in such a long time. We won the match. So happy, so proud. We're doing great. Okay, we've made a great start. If I'm being honest, we've made a great start to our Battlefront 2 campaign career in 2023. Everyone's always like, hey, Andrew, play more Battlefront 2. Well, guess what? I'm doing it. Dude, look how good this game looks, though. 2017, this game was made. Still looking stunning as ever. Look at the snow, the particle effects, the, 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 the scale of the world, the overhead battles in space. It's truly still gorgeous. It's still as impressive as I recall. Nope. That's my kill, thank you. It feels so good just using the standard E11, man. It's just great, it's a great gun. They're just like part of the scenery. No one spawned that in. You're, look, it's it literally in invisible. That's so disappointing. There's a there's a mod where you can play as those, you know. It's kind of sad that they're, they weren't included in this game. And I think that's the whole Battlefront 2 thing. Everyone's always talking about it could have been so much more. Yes, sure it could have been, but it's also really impressive with what they had, with where it got to. The fact it had probably, arguably, the most terrible release in video game history, still to this day. The controversy surrounding this game was like no other. It received, it got, it made the, the like, mainstream news. That's how, that's how controversial it was. Child gambling. And to see where the game is today, to see there are still people playing it, basically six years after it was initially released, that's great. It's such good news. Oh, E11. E11 sniper. No worries. Get the kill! Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. We're good. Dude, we're doing great. Oh, yes, there it is. This is like a casual, chill Battlefront video. I haven't made one of these in years, man. It's just so chill. It's so fun to just play Battlefront 2, you know? We're just chilling. We're just chilling in the game. Until that happens. Until you get bombed from above from an A-wing. Battlefront 2, man, it's still alive. It's still popping. 
It's still popping, look. Like that dude's face, popped right off. But this is the part of the game that I honestly don't enjoy so much when it just becomes more of like a tunnel, grenade spam, I don't know, corridor shooter. It's just not as fun. And I think Battlefront 2 especially suffers from this, especially when there's heroes involved who you don't really have a chance against, like this. Look, Anakin's just about to slice me a new one. What am I supposed to do? Do you know what I mean? Not rush in there, stay with my team. There's no real way around it. And that's part of, I think, the flaws of this game and potentially why in some ways it didn't necessarily have the lifespan it could have the shooting is good don't get me wrong like the combat is good if you go into another game after this i guess it's closer to battlefield in some ways but if you go into a, a faster kind of shooter i don't know movement's always a bit different in battlefront it's a little bit slower and i've tried testing this with you know playing in first person basically exclusively and it just it just doesn't feel the same as other games as other shooters that said dice are obviously very well known for their first person shooter gameplay when you throw in heroes and you throw in everything else then just the game just becomes becomes so chaotic at times like this it's really you know problematic at times and i also think that's why the 2005 star wars battlefront 2 works so well because it it, it knows it's like an arcade game it knows it's ridiculous it knows it's absurdly kind of comical at times and just chaotic but it's like a fun kind of chaotic like it's built in the old engine of course and, and just things are flying everywhere constantly but it's just like it felt more sandboxy than this I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Battlefront 2, this one here, doesn't necessarily feel sandboxy enough. Sure, it has all these iconic locations and moments and characters and things you can experience, but it doesn't feel like you have complete freedom in what you can do in these locations. For example, only one person can get in each vehicle and you get in the vehicles not on the map, but in the menus. That's still, for me, quite disappointing. And something I was hoping would be different. Oh my God, it's Han Solo. Like you see, this is what I mean. What are you supposed to do? Han Solo comes through the door, suddenly it's all over. Suddenly you're about to die and you have no choice but to die. Kylo, why are you here, man? You're in the wrong era. The other good thing about playing with mods at times, it, you can do things like era locking, which you can do offline in this game, and some modes are era locked. I don't like the break of immersion though. I really like immersive Star Wars, man. Like for example, uh, 2005 Star Wars Battlefront 2, each hero skin was locked to certain maps that it would make sense for the heroes to wear them on. Oh, Tauntauns, hey! It's stuff like this though that makes this game so cool. The attention to detail, so much fun. Look at them, it's cute. The emotion of the world, the world creation. Look at the fact like, what is this droid? Why are you here and why are you moving around? I don't even know what this droid is. I've seen it. I don't know what it is though, what's it for? It's like a repair droid because we're in the hangar, I don't know. Awesome though. The creation of these locations is truly something to behold. It's good to appreciate Battlefront 2 for what it is. We won. I'm on a great team, man. It looks like we're crushing them. Hopefully we get a prequel map next. That'd be fun. There goes Hoth base. Players needed 11. Everyone left because no one likes Takadana, clearly. We're going to use this as an opportunity to go try a different game mode. Let's see if anyone else is playing anything. First of all, we're going to try Supremacy. See, maybe everyone jumped over to Supremacy. That, that's a possibility. That could have happened for sure. Okay, no one's playing Supremacy. Let's try Heroes vs. Villains. This is popular, right? Oh, Hero Showdown loaded straight away. Okay. General Grievous. General Grievous is here. Oh, look, a tag team. It's like my Lego Star Wars videos. Come on. The, the dude's playing Han Solo skin from the Solo movie. What a noob. All right, Maul, let's go get him, okay? We gotta go own Han Solo and Luke. Luke, whiny boy Luke, okay? We're, we're gonna be fine, okay? I, I don't actually know how to play this game mode, though. It's been, it's been a little while. It's been a few years since I played Hero Showdown. Who plays Hero Showdown, man? General Greaves' jump is intense, man. He goes up and down real quick. Oh, look, someone's here. I think it's Lukey boy. Come on, what are you gonna do? Look, I haven't even started swing. Relax. Look, bro, relax. It's fine. Re look, man. Dude, why are you so angry? Han Solo, man, I haven't even attacked you. You're so aggressive. Shush. Have you seen me swing at you, bro? We're, we're trying to play a fun game here. What a, what a, what a guy. He's just having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to stop Han as well. <laughs> Han just got choked. You may as well just let them finish you so, so Mr. Bombastic can- Oh, in the face. Can come back and join. They got different heroes. So if they win, I think they, they have to choose different heroes. Is that how this game mode works? Maul, can we stick together, please? I'm scared out here on my own. I don't know my way around this game mode. Oh, God. Yes! I got a kill! Typical EXE! Owned! By General Grievous. All right, now, now I can't select General Grievous. All right. I'm going to choose uh, Lord Vader. All too easy. Hey Vader, I heard Padme died. Fill yourself with anger and rage. Oh yes, dream team here. Dream team, Vader and Dooku. No one beats Vader and Dooku. Look, they got whiny boy Anakin and Princess Leia what, when she's still like 16. Explosion in my face. No! Get him, Count! Get him, Count! You can do this, Count! Oh, he's doing it. 
Yep, you're gonna beat Anakin. Come on, look, little whiny boy, show him who's boss. He's playing defensive as well. He's running away. Yes, yes. Problem solved. Let's go Palpy. Palpatine, my main man. Gonna go zappity zappity. Okay, there's appearances for Palpatine. Sith Eternal, huh. What's that, the Rise of Skywalker appearance? Who would want to play with that? I'm sorry, I had to. I had to, the drug was sitting there. Oh, they've got the dream team as well. Oh, we're doing it. Come on, Obi. Come on, Obi, go down, my friend. No, oh, get him, Kylo, get him. I want to win. I really want to win so desperately. Yes! <laughs> I succeeded at Hero Showdown, a game mode I've never played. Probably played it once in my life. I'm sure one of you will go back and find videos where I've played it multiple times, but damn, I, I'm that was fun. Winning was fun. Winning, winning is always fun. I won my tennis match today. My second win since returning since a year ago. I'm so, I was so happy. Come follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of that journey. Co-op missions is the other game mode we haven't played. These are fun. So you only need four players. I don't, can we do like another map that's please just not Takadana? If it's the only game, I'll take it. Ah, Takadana, fine. Where are we, man? This is Takadana? Does everyone agree that the first order stormtroopers look a lot more plastic than the, the rest of the stormtroopers? So in this game mode, you're fighting bots, basically. I don't remember this map at all. Whoa, it's so red in here. My eye! Are we on like a ship above Takadana? Maybe that's what's going on. I feel like that's what's going on. We're gonna take the command post, guys. Come on. Haven't you played Battlefront before ever? Or like any game? Sniper indoors is honestly quite fun. But the thing is, I'm playing against bots, so they, they don't really stand much of a chance. You know, who are these poor bots we're slaughtering over and over again? Oh, look, that guy just got closed in the doorway. What happened to you? Someone, hang on, move back, we'll close the door. Oh! Corpse is going through the door. They all spawn in waves, man. That's the other thing. They don't like gradually spawn. It's like wave after wave, which I think is a bit strange. Why not just all spawn at once? All right, we're going to play as, let's play as Palpy. Palpy's still alive in this era, sure. Somehow Palpatine is returning. Bro, Palpatine is rubbish. Dude, you just took two shots and you fired a rocket at me. How did you survive? Hey guys, look, it's getting hot in here. I thought you could use some flames to decorate your place. <laughs> Dude was just standing at the corner doing nothing. Ah! Dude, so many assists and so many eliminations. It's just chaos in here. This is this is what I'm talking about, Battlefront 2. You see, if this wasn't just bots, this this kind of part of the game wouldn't be that fun, I think, because it's just grenade spam and absolute chaos in a small, confined environment. The, the fact that bots just, like, you know are a bit average at times, is what's making this fun. And in some ways, this is quite reminiscent of the old Battlefront 2. The bots could be quite brutal at times, but also quite stupid. And that's kind of part of the fun. I spent most of my time in original Battlefront 2 just playing uh, instant action. Just, just having my own fun in my own way, creating my own scenarios, traveling to different planets, playing the space missions, like all of it. We won! Amazing. Let's go try some of the other game modes, see if anyone's still playing them. What is that stance? <laughs> It's like looking over his shoulder, showing us his ass. All right, we're gonna go back, Galactic Assault. Hopefully there's people still in that game we saw we were in before. We're going to Crate. Ah, sequels. You see, this is what I mean. Even if you do go and play Battlefront 2 now, which is great, I'm glad there's still people playing, but you might not get the maps you want, you know? You might not go to the places you wanna to go to. You might not be holidaying and vacationing in the awesome locations from the prequels. Instead, you go into another sequel planet. Ah, melee kill, get the melee. Devastated, but seriously, like, how are you supposed to, like, look out here, snipe some people? You see? Like, what's the point? I haven't even fired my gun, I've died four times. All right, let's try to get this guy. Bro, I fired one shot off, immediately death. Oh, yep, and you, you walk around the corner and there's a hero. What's the point? What's the point? You know? Bubble shield. Put the bubble shield on! Why did you- what? Who disabled my bubble shield? Hello. Bro. What? Fox. That's cute. Oh, you can even hear it. You can even hear the crystals running. <gasps> that's cool immersion. Okay, but look, that, that's fun. Can you kill? Oh! Enemies up ahead. Nearly dead. It's fine. I need- look, no, it's fine. I need to be with the fox. Oh, I got a kill with a grenade! I can't see anything. I can just see the light. I imagine this is close to what real war is like. I got a kill. Amazing. Oh, two-player kill streak. Dude, we're turning it around. We're turning the game around, people. 
What a game. Let's hope the next map is something different apart from Crate or anything First Order related. That'd be lovely. Geonosis! We're going to Geonosis, people. 116 eliminations, their first guy, and our guy got 24. That shows the discrepancy here. There's something wrong. There's clearly something wrong. We're going to Geonosis, though. I'm very pleased about this. Geno, man, this will be fun. Oh my gosh, Geonosis, Clone Wars. I love it. It's gorgeous. The helmet, come on, man. The aesthetic is set. We're locked in. Look at the gorgeousness of this map. We're playing as the droid army. I want to play both sides as well. It should put us on the uh, clone side after this. If Galactic Assault works like that still. I'm pretty sure it does. You play one side and then the other of each map. Look at the... I'm, this is easily one of my favorite maps. This version of Geonosis. Look at it. Look at the, it's the lighting. The dust particles in the air. The, the sand. The sand everywhere. Anakin would hate it. The ships flying around. The war that's going on. It's just like it's forever. Regardless of what year it is that you play this game. It's forever stunning. Look at this war. Look at this giant war that's going on over here. It's just... It's just epic. Absolutely fantastic. What a game. What an absolute monster of a game. Man, I made so many videos about these games back in the day. All the details videos, Easter eggs, 50 insane details, guys. You remember those videos I made about these games? I loved making those videos. My aim is atrocious. What was that? That was so bad, I got the kill, but man. Hello. Y yep, I knew it. Noob tube. Thanks, man. Thanks. You you totally skilled, bro. You know, jumping in the air with a rocket launcher. It's like in Call of Duty back in the day, everyone's using the noob, noob tube. How was I playing so well on Hoth? Maybe I've gone stale. Maybe I've been playing too long. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That's right. Wait, do they actually land some of those in here? For this? I think they do, right? They get, what is it, ATTs? Dude, the ATTs landing. That's so epic. I love this. Come on. The immersion, when this happened, when this game came out, like that's such an epic thing to do in a game. Oh, my head came off. <laughs> this is probably like the most battlefront it gets in this game, right? Look at the landscape, the terrain just like flying around on this thing. What a game, so much fun. It just seamlessly flies over. You shoot it a couple times, you go around the back. I don't think I'm actually doing them. Oh, fuck speeder, let's chase it. Dude, just stay in a line. That, would, that could have been an epic moment where I'm like chasing you through the streets, you know? Look at these things, just being absorbed by the storm. Let me up. Yeah, no, don't shoot me up. I'm trying to get some cool cinematics, bro. Princess Leia, what are you doing here? You don't belong on Geonosis, mate. Okay, go back home. I don't know how I'm going to do the video where I try and get a kill with everything in the game. Every weapon, every tank, everything. Why do I set these challenges myself that I've never completed? That I can't complete? I still haven't beat the Rancor, have I? I still haven't beat the two Oggos. I'm going to go back. Just drive myself crazy. Arc Trooper. Arc Trooper, please die. I got the assist. they will take it. I'm just constantly moving back. So cool, though. Like, being overwhelmed. It's like the real battle of Geonosis. I appreciate realism. Here you see, this is what I said I wanted. I wanted realism in Star Wars. The canonical feeling of playing through these mat of playing through these actual battles. The clones are absolutely devastating us, just like they did in the actual battle of Geonosis. I appreciate that. I appreciate the realism. Probably my favorite cinematic in the entire game is that thing happening here and then the smoke enveloping the screen. Here's the other problem with this game mode. The fact that you play the same map from both sides, one after the other, means that the teams don't really get mixed up. So if one time the team is completely one-sided and everyone joins the next game, it's still gonna be one-sided. It's a problem. And I'm about to show you why. Let's go team. Come on brothers, band together now. Owned, yes, I'm fired up. I'm switched on. Nope, that's a targeting thing. Stop, nope. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. Call the ring. I'm gonna- I'm gonna call it. You got it? Yes, it's on. We're doing great, clones. Band together. I love when you play as the clones. This is the thing. Playing as the clones, you feel like you're- you're fighting with your brothers. It's the immersive Battlefront experience we've always wanted. Here, in Battlefront 2. Working as a team, trying to play the objectives. You can hear the clone voices in your ears the entire time. It's so good. It's just like every Star Wars fan wants this, you know? Ooh, Commando! Let's go, Republic Commando. Every time I come back to this, it's great to have a break from Battlefront 2 because every time you come back to it, you just appreciate, look at the, the scenery. Everything that this game does well. Look at it, it's gorgeous. You feel like you're part of something so much bigger. We have to acquire the vehicle, guys. Why has no one done this? Guys, ah, is no one here to defend me? Oh, BB-9E, he's like, oh my God. <laughs> Someone needs to put a bubble shield on that now. It's nearly done. 
It needs like two seconds. Someone destroy the turret, please. Oh, 24 left. Come on, guys. Someone push up there. Kylo Ren's there. Why are you here, Kylo? You're ruining my game. They're putting turrets on it. They're doing everything. You see, it's too much. Oh, get it. Yes. Oh, he did it. What a legend. Oh, there's, an, there's a Droidica right there. Droidicas can shoot through, through their shields, right? We're, we're all good, guys. That was so tight, though. We nearly didn't make it. No! Thank you, Kylo. Oh, God. <laughs> what body shape did my body just go into then? What are these? No, Kylo. Can, can someone please get rid of this whiny little... Please, I don't want to fight Kylo on Geonosis. That's not the experience, you see? Being killed by a droidica, I'm all cool with that. That's fine, that's totally cool. However, being like frozen and then sliced in half by Kylo Ren, not okay. It's not my idea of fun on Geonosis. That's not what I like to do when I holiday on Geonosis. Thank you. I appreciate you listening to my invalid opinion. Oh, it just fell on top of everyone. <laughs> oh no, oh no, we lost. Cool animation though, it was worth seeing this cool animation. I don't remember seeing it, but I'm sure they played it before. Man, that's dark, yeah. And that never happened in the Clone Wars, but it happened in my universe. Please subscribe. More Battlefront 2, let me know if you want to see it. It's coming. And thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew, I'll catch you soon.